This is part three of a series I've renamed uh, Evidence of the True God. I'm going to read to you Genesis. You know, I want to start at the beginning of the Bible. That's a great way to start with, uh, you know, the evidence of God. We'll, we'll start right at the beginning of the Holy Bible. In Genesis chapter one, verse one, it says, in the beginning, uh, God created the heaven and the earth. Okay, number two, and the earth was without form. Did you hear what I just said? The earth was without form. There was no form to the earth at all. And void, okay, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters, okay? And God said, let there be light, and there was light. Now, verse 4, and God saw the light and that it was good, and God divided the light from darkness. And uh, number 5 is, and God called the light day and the darkness night. And the evening and the morning were on the first day. Okay. Now, as I've stated in my other uh, part one and part two, I believe that uh, a lot of people think that God created the sun on the first day. You know, when he said, let there be light. That's not true. Okay. The evidence is farther down in Genesis uh, chapter one. Yeah. He created the sun and the stars and the moon on the fourth day. Okay. This is uh, Genesis chapter 1, verse 14. Okay. And God said, let there be lights in the firmament of heaven to divide the day from night and let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and years. Okay. And of course, those are the stars. Um, and let them be for lights in the firmament of heaven to give light upon the earth. And it was so. Uh, verse 16, and God made two great lights. Okay, think about that. He made two great lights. The greater light to rule the day and the lesser light to rule the night. Okay, and it says he made the stars also. That's verse 16. So he made two great lights, one to rule the day, one to rule the night. And of course, when you look out uh, in the daytime, the great light is the sun. At night, what's the great light? The moon. Now I have to explain that the 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 sun is a is a source of light. It's the only source of light. Do you understand it? The moon does not give off its own light. The moon is like a mirror. It's a, the sun it reflects on the moon, and that's how you get your light at night. The moon does not give off its own light. The sun does. Okay. Anyway, it says, uh, we'll read on a little bit here, uh, verse 17. And God set them in the firmament of heaven to give light upon the earth, to rule over the day and over the night, to divide light from darkness. Okay. And God saw that it was good. And the evening and the morning were on the fourth day. So there you have it. Okay. At the beginning, when God said, let there be light, he was not referring to the sun, nor the stars, nor the moon. What he was referring to is invisible light, okay? What is invisible light? Invisible light, as I stated before, uh, light is truth, okay? When people say, I see the light, they're saying, I see the truth. Uh, it's an awareness, okay, of the truth. You become aware of the truth. Um, you become enlightened about the truth. 
it's a uh, knowledge, wisdom, understanding. Do you understand? So right at the beginning of the Bible, the first thing that God created was light. And in that he created truth. Okay. As I've stated in the other teachings prior to this in part one and part two. Okay. Uh, the first thing that God created was truth. Man did not create truth. Okay. Man searches for the truth. Okay. All through history, man has searched for the truth. It's a spiritual expedition. It's not a physical expedition. You go on a spiritual quest to find out what the truth is. So it's an invisible uh, search for the truth. But uh, truth does exist. Otherwise, your search is in vain. Okay. So when you're seeking for the truth, you're, ser you're searching for something that does exist. Otherwise, your search is in vain. You're just... Uh, walking around in your own darkness and your own confusion. Nevertheless, that's the first thing God created was truth, wisdom, and understanding, awareness. And he saw that it was good. He had to establish truth, see, before anything else. Otherwise, anything before truth uh, could be a lie. It could be deception. So he established truth first before he started making physical things. He made spiritual things. Uh, things before he made physical things. Do you understand? He made spiritual light before he made physical lights. He made invisible spiritual uh, light before he made the sun, uh, the moon, and the stars, which are physical lights. So you follow what I'm saying here? I'm going to repeat it one more time. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, just so we are clear. He made spiritual invisible things before he made physical things. He made truth uh, before he could make physical things. So you know that anything after the truth, when he says, I made the stars, the moon, and the sun, is the truth because he established truth to begin with. Now, that might be a little confusing, but it's not. Think about it. Okay, for well, okay. When I say that uh, God is spirit, okay, uh, the invisible parts of you, your soul, you know, your heart, not your physical heart that pumps blood. That's not what I'm talking about. Your heart that feels the emotions of sadness, joy, uh, anger, you know, all the, all the emotions you feel that come out of the heart. Um, you know, your, your mind and your spirit. Okay, so it's your soul, your heart, your mind. And your spirit, thats all, they're all invisible, okay? You don't possess a soul, okay? When I say that you have a soul, that's, that's uh, not a very way to put it, okay? You are a soul, okay? You have a physical body, but you are a living soul. In the beginning of the Bible, it says that God uh, breathed into Adam's nostrils, and he became a living soul, okay? I'll give you a little bit of uh, quick teaching about that. Um, how do you see? Okay? How do you see things? The obvious answer is with your eyes, okay? How do you hear things? The obvious answer is your ears, but that's not really true, is it? You don't see with your eyes. You don't hear with your ears. Okay, and I'm going to prove that to you. Okay, a dead person. Okay, and I'm not trying to. I'm going to have to be kind of graphic here for, to explain this. A dead person who is dead, they still have eyes. Can they see? No. But they still have eyes. You you say that you see with your eyes. They have eyes. They can't see, can they? So obviously you don't see with your eyes. They have ears. If you were to get down, you know, and yell into a dead person's ear, they would hear nothing. So they don't hear what you don't hear with your ears, nor do you see with your eyes. You see with your soul. You are a soul. You see with your soul and you hear with your ears. Do you understand? You feel with your soul. Your body is just like a 
uh, I don't want to be gross here. Okay, it's like a, uh, uh, you're, it's like a, a, it's like clothing for your soul. Okay, do you understand? You are a soul. You see with your soul. You hear with your soul. You feel with your soul. Okay, because you are a living soul. You do not see with your eyes. Dead people have eyes. They no longer see anything. So that proves that your eyes don't, uh, it's not your eyes that see. They have ears, but they don't hear anything. What's missing? Their soul. Do you understand? You are a living soul. And you, do you understand what I'm saying? You don't see with your eyes. You see with your soul. Okay, because you are a living soul. Okay. Anyway, we'll move on to back to uh, the two great lights, okay? Uh, what I'm trying to tell you here is when when God made uh, uh, created started creating things, he created spiritual things before physical things. The invisible part of you, your soul, okay, is more important than your physical body. Do you understand? It's more real. The spiritual part of you is more real than your physical body. Do you understand? Anyway, when God made the two great lights, okay, he also, he made physical light, the sun. At the same time, he made, he created his son, Jesus Christ. Do you understand that? 